Hey guys, Mark here with another quick video about the water flow sensor that I built for my DC40 laser engraver. Here's the laser engraver, uh, commonly known as the Chinese laser engraver, Chinese laser cutter. Um, you can pick it up on eBay for right around $600. Um, but an option that uh, that some of them have is a water flow sensor. Um, it's about a hundred dollar option, so I just opted to go build my own. Um, this was less than ten dollars, but we'll start all the parts. This is the exit hose. Well, here's here's the here's the entrance hose uh, that goes into uh, the the forty watt laser. Um, but the exit hose comes out of here. Um, the hose plugs into a barbed connector. This is a quarter inch uh, barbed connector uh, that has a three eighths uh, male uh, that's that's then uh, I tapped it into a half inch uh, cap half inch 30 cap the half inch 30 cap then goes into the sensor itself the sensor right here it's a Miko water sensor um, I'll add the description uh, onto uh, my YouTube page but uh, basically it's, it's it's less than six dollars and it has a reed sensor you might be able to there's reed sensors right here um, there's a spring and basically they're a little piece of plastic and, and when the when it's pushed down uh, from the flow of the water um, the reed sensor opens up um, from there I have underneath it a cap it's a you might be able to see it there it is it's a half inch cap that I drilled a hole in the bottom of that so that so this piece then twists into uh, the half inch cap and basically uh, then the water just flows back into my tank um, also I see a lot of different tanks at least for these lasers uh, this is one that I built really simple picked up this plastic container I think it's 21 or 24 ounces um, I'll have the description on there I picked up at Walmart it's about six dollars and the uh, the pump fits in it just just fine and it's more than enough water uh, I've been able to engrave for I did one piece that took probably over an hour and the water did not change temperatures at all um, so this is more than enough and it's kind of a good size it's right right the height of the laser as well so it fits very nicely uh, in the unit but we will go over the uh, how this thing's wired up. So basically, two wires come out of here um, that I just quickly uh, hooked onto two more wires, and these two wires go and actually connect into the uh, laser switch. So let's open it up. But very simply, they just connect. Um, I just cut the laser switch right here, connected them in. So just just like another switch uh, in series. So that's all I did. I'm going to make it a lot nicer, but let's turn on the laser and let's see how it works. So here we go. We'll turn on the laser and to show that the water is flowing, you actually can hear it. You can hear the water flowing. So um, I am going to turn the laser on and I'm going to do a test. And wait a sec. Let's actually get an item so it actually can hit it. Let's grab this piece of carbon right here so it can laser into that and see that so here we go we'll run the test again press the button you can see the laser works um, but let's go I will tell you that I'm going to turn it off um, I'm actually going to unplug the water right now I'm going to press the button and unplug the water so you'll see actually the laser turn off on itself so I'm depressing the test switch unplugging it turns it right on off um, I plug this uh, the flow uh, the, the pump back in it turns right back on. Um, so very simple um, an easy way to have a water protection switch they'll save you from getting a new bulb if your pump goes bad because let's face it they don't really give you the best pump uh, in this system but that is my um, my uh, water flow sensor. I'm um, going to give you also just a cost breakdown real quick of how much it cost me. Uh, this was a uh, this was about $2.50 at Home Depot, uh, 76 cents. This was under $6 at uh, online at Amazon. I'll give you that link 
and below that I think it's another 76 cents so we're looking at 250 plus another another there so plus this we're looking at right at ten dollars for this complete or less than ten dollars for this complete assembly um, and it works great um, please leave your comments and feedback if you got any questions about how I built this um, I will respond at on the post thank you